What is happening everybody? Curdy B here and welcome to part 5 of attempt number 1 at our Pokemon Sterling Silver Hardcore Nuzlocke. In our last episode we managed to get our second gym badge from Bugsy and Azealia Town. We made our way through Ilex Forest. We uh, got cut. We had a fight with Gardenia. I made our way across to uh, Cherry Grove. We got a few more friends along the way. Had a look through Cherry Grove and now we're going to take on Whitney to hopefully get our third gym badge. So we're going strong right now. Only the two deaths, um, which were quite... Um, one was unfortunate, the other one was, was unlucky, but we have to move on. So as usual everybody, thank you so much for watching the content and thank you very very much for your support, especially if you are a regular viewer. I am happy to have you, as long as you're happy to have me. If this is the first time that you're watching any of my content and you are brand new to the channel, then I have to let you know that please be aware that I do like to swear. If you prefer PG, you may not like me, but if swearing is okay, then come on and let's play. So with all that fucking bollocks out of the road, let's get started. So I've calced this fight as much as I possibly could to the move by move. And again, we're relying on not getting critical hit and things like that. So. We're going to lead off with Crabstick, our brand new Kingler who evolved uh, in this Water Steel, who's going to be one of our mainstays going forward. Uh, we have Hyper Cutter, which is unfortunate. I would have rather have had uh, Shell Armor, but we have to make do. We're holding a Figgy Berry, just to get a little bit of extra health back if we need it. And we have Rock Tomb, Rock Smash, Protect, and Aqua Jet. Carrot R Zumeril is here, holding the Silk Scarf to, scarf to power up the, those Fake Outs and Body Slams. Also with Ice Punch and Aqua Jet. Dragon Fruit is here as well, uh, with Speed Boost, which is very, very critical to what we have to do. With the Shell Bell, with Air Color, Signal Beam, U-Turn and Detect. All of the Graveler is here, with uh, the Quick Claw, just in case you need a, a, a Lucky Proc. With Accelerock, Brick Break, Bulldoze and Rock Blast. Trout the Sea King is here, uh, holding the Muscle Band with Aqua Jet, Supersonic, Horn Attack and Waterfall. And sadly for Trout, you are here to be used as Death Fodder. Uh, we have to sack you in order to get a safe switch in, uh, which we will uh, talk about later on in the fight. But I'm sorry Trout, you are used as a piece of shit, but you will have uh, some use in this fight anyway. And finally, Ribeye, our Hitmon Top with Technician, holding the Miracle C to power up that cut. Uh, with also Rock Smash, Mac Punch, and Detect as well. So we have a plan. And you know they say everyone has a good plan until they get punched in the face. Our punch in the face will be an, unluck an unlucky critical hit at some point. Or a flinch or two that we don't really need. So we shall see. We need a bit of luck. But hopefully we get through this. Fuck Whitney. Um... Oh my god, hi, I'm Whitney. Yo, I saw you at the Red Altar just now. Microphone. Everyone's into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm good too. Fuck you, Whitney. And your milk tank of doom. And okay, we have fast mode. Woohoo! I don't know why, again, my computer's doing this for sure. So, plan, step by step. Lopoli will want to jump kick here, so we're going to protect, get it down to half health. I don't know, I honestly don't know why it's going so fast. I look at that, the fast, it's fast speed there, but sure. If it's fast, that's better for us. Now, on the next jump kick, we're going to go with the Dragon Fruit, we quad resist. Perfect. We now detect, so our speed boost will make us faster. And unfortunately, Air Cutter is not a guaranteed kill here, so what we need to do is U-turn to damage Lopini enough so that the next time you come in, it is a guaranteed kill, so we're going to U-turn. Perfect. Now we're going to go into Olive here. We need to keep Crowd Stick as, or give it as much health as possible because we need Crowd Stick to tank hits from the to Togekiss. So into Olive on the return. Perfect. Back in the Dragon Fruit on the jump kick. Perfect. We detect. 
And now our cutter will take this Lopunny out. And what I'm hoping then is that it will draw in the Corsula because it'll see a kill with the Ancient Power. And then that means we can U turn out to break the Corsula Sash, go into Ribeye, who will then cut for the kill. So our cutter should kill here now. Nice. Get some health back. Crastix level 30. Dragon Fruit level 30. No, I don't want silver. I think single beam is actually stronger. But actually, let me see. Moves have been changed. It's not. It may not be base 60 anymore. So single beam is base 85. Nah, I still. Oh, I need the extra points for make sure we, we kill uh, Drafferig. Yeah, we'll give up a silver one. That's fine. So Corsula should come out here, hopefully. Perfect. So this is a U-turn in the ribeye. That's the sass broken. Now we just want to avoid either a freeze from Ice Beam or an Ancient Power proc. Don't, don't. Good. Cut will kill, thanks to Miracle Seed. And I expect Togekiss to come in now, because it's got flying moves. Or could we draw for it with Zen Head, but either, either one is fine. So Togekiss, so right, this is the, the most difficult part of the fight. We want to switch in Crab. Crab has to fight through flinching, and it has to hit it with a Rock Tomb to slow it down. We will then switch in Azumarill, who can kill with Fake Out and Ice Punch. So we're going to win the Crab now. Crab Stick. Crab Stick has to fight through, has to fight through a couple of flinches here. So don't flinch. I think we have two, three shots at this. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. Ah, oh, crap! Fuck. Now everything's fucked up. That's the whole strategy screwed. What do I do now? I think I have to go into carrot now. I think I have no other option but to go into carrot. Trout and each trout to be sacrificed for thing. Milk Tank, Giraffe Rig, Amber Palm, and this left. The other, Milk Tank, the other two I can deal with fine. Amber Palm and Giraffe Rig, I can deal with fine. It's the Milk Tank, and this thing's a problem now. I think I'm going to have to go into Carrot here. I think I have no other option. I'll get the Fake Out. What I'll do here, I'm gonna have to fish for a body slam. Because Ice Punch won't kill. Get a can I get a para? Nope. I think I'm screwed now. I'm going to have to sack two Pokemon, I think, to win this fight now. What speed is Troy? 66. What speed is the Togekiss? I think my only shot here now 
is to switch in Trout. Trout is faster. But I'm not sure if it'll tank to... It, it might tank to your slashes. Waterfall has a... 30, it's 30%. I'm not sure what a Kearney is now. And then what I hope happens... Giraffe Rig then has to come out. There's no other option. Giraffe Rig has to come out afterwards. That's, that's the only thing I, I think I can do here at this point. I don't think there's no other option here. That's all I can do. Come on. Do we, no, 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 we can't risk it. I just have to... Can we get a flinch? Come on, waterfall. Please. Kill her flinch, kill her flinch. I'm going to have to play supersonic games now. Come on. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Yes! Flinch hit... Flincher hit yourself. Flincher hit yourself. Come on! Yes! That'll do! Ha <laughs> ha! Right. Draft rig, please come out. You see the kill with Thunderbolt? Please come out. Come on. Please. Yes! Good draft rig. Now, we Aqua Jet here. So, what this Aqua Jet will do, we'll bring it into range from the Tanga Berry that we can kill with uh, Signal Beam. So, Aqua Jet. Okay, we get another one in then. Now, this changes things. This changes things. So I'm going to the Dragon Fruit anyway. So you turn will actually kill here now. But I, if I, if I, oh. it depends on what comes out next. Do I U-turn and then bring in Card who can then just fake out on on its next turn? Or Revi? I can Mac Punch. Or do I stay in, get a U-turn off? See, the original plan here was to kill with Signal Beam, you turn the Armour Palm to come in, or the Milk Tank, and then work from there. Did I stick with that plan? Because Carrot's not exactly in great health right now. I might have to risk a Zen Headbutt Crypt with Ribeye. That might be the only plan I have. Right, okay, so I've decided, right. Signal Beam. That kills Giraffe Rig. You might get out of this with the, with the 
all of the deaths with the plan for. I'm a palm right, so I don't really care about fake out. I'm gonna, it's gonna want to. Uh, uh, I want to U-turn or do I detect? No, I'm gonna detect. Will you turn out here? <gasps> Another crit. This might work out for me. No, I can't. I have to know. I have to uh, do all of. Oh, could be back. We get a quick flow proc. No. Right. This is where things get tricky. So this can either use str strength or ice punch. So the plan was to go into crab or, or dragon fruit, but if he uses ice punch, I'm fucked. I can't risk crab stick. I'm gonna have to risk the ribeye here. I'm gonna have to risk it. No. This is the key thing here. We have to avoid a critical hit and flinch with the or they just mac punch. Do two mac punches kill this thing? I need to calc this now. I, I didn't plan for this here, I need to calc this now. Okay, so my only option... Uh, <laughs> two mag punches don't take it out, unfortunately. All I can hope for now, in order to not lose... Uh, I think it has to be Ribeye that goes down, unfortunately. All I can hope for now to not lose Ribeye, I have to not get flinched, not get crit, and Rock Smash... has to defense drop come on I don't think Mac punch kills from here but I think I have no other option something has to go down I can't switch in crab stick. Can we get a critical hit? Can we get a high roll here? Can we get something, please? Ribeye, if you go down, buddy, I'm so sorry. We didn't foresee these circumstances. Can this please go, please? out of that <laughs> oh that is unbelievable oh, I thought I was half the sex of for sure go on ribeye you pull through there big cheese oh fantastic all right oh yeah well <laughs> like you're meanie I don't understand this but why, why the fuck did I have let's just waste my time okay what, what what does this accomplish here I made her cry okay so stop she cried why do I have to do that? It just makes fucking in, in, in these games. I just waste fucking time. Why? why? Why do I have to do this? Why, why does she cry? I walk forward, then walk back for whatever fucking reason. <laughs> what? <Well, well, laughs> oh my god, you want a badge? 
Alright, I forgot! Hit your plane badge! Give me that fucking plane badge, you absolute arsehole. I'm a guy, the plane badge lets you use your Pokemon your strength outside of battle! You can have this too! Is that a tract? I heard of this thing called T, Pogathlon Dome. It's open up right now. Next to the National Park. Let's go try it. Such a good bad of your Pokemon. What was, the, what was the fucking TM? You didn't tell what the TM was? Ooh! No, no. No, 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 no. That's going on to Kara straight away. No, 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 no. Do we get rid of Body Slam? Sheer par like so I don't see why we wouldn't. Alright. Fake out will always keep Aqua Jet is handy too, body slam. Yeah, I reckon we're getting rid of body slam. So that is our third gym badge. Uh let's go to uh what is our level cap now? Uh, I believe Morty is level 35, however. I think there is a double battle against some more of the Sinnoh leaders at level 32. So that'll be our cap then. Um, level 32, with three deaths now. Three badges, three deaths, three badges, and level 32. We can get our Ursa Ring now, I believe. Days. Right, okay, so we'll get, get our guys up to speed here and uh, we'll make our way through where we next need to go. Oh, I, that's an epic battle. Woo! Glad I got through that one. Alrighty then, so we got ready to rock and roll and we're going to get our next encounter here. So we're currently on Route 35 and honestly, looking at what we, th we can get here, I'm guaranteed a Poliwag here because I got Krabby, so I really, really like Poliwrath. Uh, so I, re I reckon I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. So we will just go ahead and fish up and get our polywag. If it has water absorbed, that would be awesome. That's a dupe. I already have you. Then again, I could try. I, I could try and get a crabby with, with shell armor. Hey, Pollywag! I'll just throw a quick ball at you. See why it's going slow again now? Well, not slow, it's going normal speed now again. I just don't understand why it does it sometimes. Pollywag was caught! Woohoo! What should we call Pollywag here? I really like Pollywag. Tadpole Pokemon. The direction of its belly spiral differs by area. The equator is thought to have an effect on this. Good for you. Look at your derpy little eyes. Oh, I'll call you. Turn to Polly World, Polly Wrath. Dog, shut up. Um, we shall call you. I'm going to call you. Blueberry. Blueberry, the Poliwag, welcome to the team, buddy. I'm going to make our way now across to the bug catchers. Right, so uh, before we get to the, the, the bug catching um, area contest place, where I, I, the doctors say that the bug catching contest is no longer on anyway. We actually have this uh, area here, the Pokal. Po Pokathlon Dome, if I can speak properly. Um, I mean, get an encounter somewhere. Oh, there's the grass there. So let's have a look who we can get. Pokathlon Dome. Krabby, which we have. Magnemite. Pine. Oh, that's a nice. Magnemite would be awesome. It has Levitate. Panko would also be uh, as good as well. Nice Steel types. Nose Pass, which can become um, Probo Pass. And then Far Fetched. So. I'm happy enough with everything there, apart from Farfetch'd, if I'm being perfectly honest. So let's let's see. It's a nice steel type, so we will lead with green chili. 
we already have crabby or crab um, crab sticks. Our Pogathlon double counter is ooh an iron. Tin foil is back. Very good. Again, we'll put a quick ball. You. Hi, Tinfoil. Tinfoil likes to follow me around between games. Boom! I was caught. Another nice, big, smelly rock steel type. Iron armor Pokemon. When it evolves, it sheds the steel car carapace that covered its whole body and develops a new one. Very good. Let's give a nickname. We'll, we'll just call you Tinfoil again. Tin foil again. Why the hell not? Tin foil. Tin foil the iron. Welcome to the team, buddy. Very good. We'll check you out shortly. We're now going to make our way across to the bug catching area. Do 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 do. Actually. There's a PC there, let's check out the guys. National Park, that's where it is. So, let's have a look and see. We've got Pollywag. Aww. Why does it have to have Swift Swim? Nobody gives a fuck about Swift Swim. Neutral Nature, which is fine. And what about you? Yes! Battle Armor! Woohoo! Oh, my microphone, but it has modest. Why? Why does it have to have the worst nature ever? But battle armor. Whole oh, happy days. Does that say quick attack? Fucking battle armor, like of all things. Quick attack. Another claw. Magnet bomb. Oh, there we go. Our magnet bomb will be powered up with our, our nice modest special attack. But battle armor. Fucking right. I might have to think about bringing you onto the team now. Well, how do we do, do a, a, re a rejuggle here to rethink, if I'm being honest? Okay. Actually, we'll, we'll get our national park encounter while we're here, and then we'll, we'll think about it. Dee 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 dee. White herb. This is a quick clot to my herb, you fucking moron. No, stay away from me. I think every, every trail here is optional. So what can we get here in National Park? Um, National Park. Trap Pinch, Baltoy, Numil, Cubone, Gligar, Cacnea, Nosepass, Magnemite, Aaron, Lar Larvitar. Larvitar would also be awesome. Trap Pinch would be nice as well. Um, Dragon Ground is awesome. Baltoy and Numel. Eh, we'll see. We'll get, we'll get a few things here. Let us see what we get. National Park Encounter is... Baltoy! I, I like Baltoy, to be honest. It, it, it has a nice few resistances. It has Levitate, hopefully. Uh, immune to Electric as well. So, I will take that. Let us throw a quick ball at you. I love my quick balls now. One, two, three, boo! Baltoy was caught. I also discovered as well that um, our Yamega is bug dragon in this game, so we do have our dragon type if we need it. Clay all Pokemon, ground psychic. It moves while spinning around on its single foot. Some Baltoy have been seen spinning on their heads. Good for you. What should we call little Baltoy here? It wasn't the, the, the monstrosity that is Clay doll. Um, just because I literally can't think of any other name, I just popped into my head there. I think that's how you spell it. Let me just double check that. I'm fairly certain that's how you spell lasagna. Yep, it is. Lasagna, the Baltoy. Welcome to the team, buddy. Let's check you out. 
Move out of my way. Move out of my way. Fuck off. Get out of my road. Jesus. Dickhead. By the way, there's Ursa Ring. Woohoo. Got snowmobile ground. Levitate. Nice. HP rock. Nice. Bashful nature. Neutral. Yep, you be, might be handy. So, we'll get these guys up to speed here. And then we'll make a decision on our team. Because there's a lot of new members, potential new members there. So, we'll do that now. Okay, so we're on Route 36 then. And uh, we actually have an optional fight with Dawn here. Which I am going to do. Because we get Dream Punch as a reward. And I want Dream Punch for our Polyrath. But first... Before we do anything, let's get our encounter. So what we've got here, I think it's mostly fighting types. Um, let's see. Makahita, Mankey, Gligar. Oh, can we get Gligar again? Meditite, Snubble, Machop, Shroomish, Tyrogue. If we get Gligar again, I'm taking it. I don't care. Because uh, Glyscore is, is a fantastic Pokemon. Especially if it's Poison Heal. So if we get Gligar again, let's go for that there. Let's go. Who 36 encounter is? Nah. Crab Mikey, which I'm not going to use because I'm going to have. I've got Thing and I've got Polyroth as well, so I don't really care. But I will have Polyroth. But you'll go in the box for anyway. Pretty good for fast U turns. Mikey was caught! A lot of encounters today. Peg Monkey Pokemon. It's unsafe to approach if it gets violently enraged for no reason and can't distinguish friends from foes. Very good. Peg Monkey. Uh, we'll call you, since you're uh, a monkey, Poi Banana. Bananas. Bananas the monkey, welcome to the team buddy. Right, we'll have a look at what Dawn wants to do here. Uh, we'll get our team prepared for this optional fight with Dawn. Alright, team ready for Dawn. Um, jiggle around a bit, so we got Ribeye, Tinfoil, Honey with the Burn, Olive, uh, Crab Stick and Carter here. So, yep, that'll do. Hey there, trainer. My name is Don. I'm not giving you a voice. I am assisting in Professor Owen's research with my friend Lucas. I'm sure you'll see him eventually. You look quite the trainer. Care to battle? I'm sure I can learn a thing or two from you. Okay. Do, 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 it's down and pearl music. Do, do, do. A palm is out. So with A palm, we've got ribeye. We're going to detect on the fake out and then Mac punch. I don't know if it'll kill. I've done any calcs here, by the way. See where it's went the normal speed again? I don't know why. This might kill. It does kill. De -de -de -de. That was good. Right, Power Tree Suit. Now this thing has, I think, Psycho Cut. So we're going to go into Tin Foil on that first. We can't get crit, so we're fine. And then it's gonna probably want to dis. I think it's discharge and has U-turn. Yeah, so don't, uh, it's only people that want to use. So I'm then gonna go into. Hey. Yeah, and then we can build those twice. Do 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 do. Or you could be a fucker and do that. What's going to take a guts boosted bulldoze? I should be faster now. That loot. Do, do, 
do 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 Pyro Swine comes out, so as far as I can see, this thing hasn't got any ground moves. It has Avalanche, Rock Slide, Ice Shard, and Crunch, so the perfect answer to you. Although we took away our steel move, is Crab Kick. Or not Crab Kick, Crab Stick. That'll do nothing to us. Aqua Jet. Oh yeah, you have Hashu Berry, I forgot about that. Oh well, you can't really do much to us anyway. Of course, it was critical. Yeah, this would have happened if I had Battle Armor. Or Shell Armor. Aqua Jet. So I expect the part is going to come back in here, and because Tony is slightly weak, we're going to go into Olive. And you'll just build those. This part has it has huge power, by the way. That's fine, I think Koalava comes in here. Which is going to be melted by Bulldoze. That's very good. Let's speed this up. Nice crit at the end with, yep, that move. Thanks, Dawn. Good luck. Gimme Drain Punch. What is the base power of Drain Punch? I think 75. Yeah. Who can learn it? Anyone decent learn it? Those people can learn it? Honey can learn it? You can learn Drain Punch? See, I'm, I'm just... I'm, I like Rock. I like my rock smash. Ten fog and learn it. A quick attack. Um rid of Magna Bomb. So have it. Okay. Oh yeah, payback, I forgot. About payback. You can learn payback. You can't really need you to turn. Okay. So I think we have to take on the pseudo widow here. And then look up what you're doing. Let's see heal first. And then that might be it for today's episode. You know, 39 minutes. Might be able to squeeze in the, the, the double bottle. So the pseudo widow, what do you have? Pseudo widow, now make the cell rock fade attack and rock slide, so yeah, you can't really do much to ten foil here. Yes, lose a squirt bottle. And this is a stack counter, so it doesn't count. Alright, head. That did nothing to us. Why do you get special music, by the way, Sudo Widow? Nice crit to finish off with. 
Bye, Sudowoodoo. That was fun. Give me the berry pots. I don't want your fucking berry pots. All your orange berries. All your pet berries. Thank you. Right, where is this double bottle? There's an item. Never mind. Ooh, yes. Route 37. Actually, on second thought, we'll just go ahead and, and call it a day for this episode. Make this one a bit a small, a bit shorter than the last one, I think. So yeah, that was one epic gym battle, I must say. <laughs> That's the best one I've had in a long time. Those gym battle, uh, when things go wrong, you have to try and pull out of the bag. Oh, that's the best kind of content. But uh, next, we're gonna hopefully make our way. We'll take on the double battle. Uh, uh, there's a double battle against two of the Sinnoh gym leaders. Uh, we'll then make our way to Ecutic City. We'll take on our rival in the Burn Tar, and we'll hopefully get our uh, fifth, sorry, fifth, fourth gym badge. So as usual guys, uh, thank you so much for watching, um, like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff if you're a content creator yourself, uh, if you subscribe to the channel, I'll subscribe back to yours, let's grow our community together. With that being said, take it easy, all the best, and good luck, we'll see you in the, in the next episode, bye!